hardware store. Is it suspicious to go to the hardware store first? Ma'am, I already told you. To open a safe, and I mean any safe, though I can't say for sure which one you have, an old one. Well, old or new, you'll need either a very good locksmith, a very good thief, precisely, and I'm afraid I'm neither. All I sell is doorknobs and fasteners, ma'am. What a waste of time. All right. Do I have like a time limit? Hmm. What can I get you? Sorry to bother you. Looking for the, the Koopa Cigar Club. Is this place? Well, can't you read? Look at the sign, lady. This is a bar. We don't sell cigars here, only drinks. So I suggest you either order one or take a hike. Well, that bartender seems like a totally well-adjusted individual. Shouldn't bother him if I don't plan on ordering anything. Quit smoking a long time ago, though I've been regretting it more and more lately. I don't mind a cigar on every, on every couple of occasions. It's usually on like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Fourth of July. Excuse me. Hmm? Don't suppose you know where I could find the Koopa Cigar Club? Cigar Club? You're looking at it, babe. But it was shut down a year, maybe two years ago. All that's left is this, is this shithole. The bartender looks over displeased. What do you think you are? The Ritz or something? The bartender looks away even more displeased. A year or two? I was pretty damn like you looking for a cigar club anyway. Why don't you buy a drink? Why don't I buy you a drink instead? Thanks, but I'm in a hurry course you are. I don't understand. This ain't making any sense. Let me take another look at that matchbox. The address is right. There's no way these matches are two years old. Hey, there's a phone number on the other side. Is this written with a ballpoint pen? Must be recent then. The hell did I miss this? I could call their number. What good will that do? The club really did close a couple of years ago. Maybe that loser got it wrong. Should find a phone. Mind if I use your phone? It's out back. By the John. It smells like piss in here. Lord knows what else. Drugs? It's you. I know who you are. You shouldn't have dialed this number. Who are you? Do I know you? <laughs> the fuck? We'll, we'll be seeing each other soon. What? This key really belongs to the bus depot. I must open one of the lockers here. Some drunks falling asleep right next to the locker I need to get to get into. Bum gurgle something unintelligible. Well that's just perfect. How do I get rid of him now? He reeks of booze. Maybe a fresh bottle will get him to move. Back to the bar. If 
bottle of liquor, please. Cheapest you got. So the lady finally decided to have some fun? Don't ask. You have a lovely evening. All right, buddy boy. <clears throat> hey, pal. Got a bottle of something you might like. Huh? Look, just move over, would you? Thank God that worked. Some kind of parcel here. I don't get it, Walt. What does this all mean? I should wait till I get home to open it. Whoa. Who the hell are you? And said he unto me, prophecy unto the wind. Prophecy. Son of man. And say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breath upon these slain that they may live. Oh. Okay. On my way home, I got to thinking. Maybe I just made a mistake. The man on the other end of what wire could could have been or that wire could have been anyone. An old friend, a comrade in arms, or some other failed rider rider. It was amazing how after Walt's death after Walter's death, I was starting to learn so much about him. Way more than I than way more than what I knew of him. When he was still alive, things that were obviously private, things he didn't want to share with his own wife. Someone starts quoting scripture randomly in my ear. I'm getting, I, I get free, I'm gonna get freaked out and deck him. <laughs> yeah, especially in that kind of context, like just like some bus, some drunk dude at a bus stop. And suddenly, the engine overheated. Goddamn bucket of bolts. Lord, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, oh my kidding. You know perfectly well, Loretta. So I walked. Good thing the house was only half a mile away. I noticed a luxurious white car right out right away, parked by my front porch. Never seen a qua car quite like that. Some old man with a cane was standing next to it. Something deep in my gut told me nothing good was going to come from this meeting. Shit. Can I help you? Go call out your husband, sweetheart. I'd like to speak to the property owner. I'm the property owner. Ah, well that explains it. What are you needing all this land for anyway? Who are you exactly? Who's asking? My name's Peter Solomon Morgan Jr. But you all can call me Mr. Morgan. I own the land down southeast here. Which means I've the misfortune of being your neighbor. What's that supposed to mean? Come take a look. See this? The whole lot's rotten. I ain't even worth feeding to the livestock. Thank you kindly for showing me some dirt. But I fail to see how this has anything to do with me. Fail to see, do you? Morgan's old face turns purple with anger. Fifty acres of fertile land. Reduced to nothing but horse shit. My sincere congratulations. So what? And that has, to, has what to do with me? I hired a specialist. Through his investigating, he concluded that drainage installed on your property is wrecking my crops. 
I was looking to have a conversation with the real property owner. You know, resolve the issue peaceful-like. But I guess that just ain't on the cards. I don't give a damn about you or your land, old-timer. Listen hard, little Oki. You goddamn Oki. I'll, I don't know what that is. Let go of me, you asshole. If Phillips or some... What the fuck is this doing? Sorry. If Phillips or someone else is paying you to pull this shit, or this is your own hair harebrained attempt at sab sab sabotage, Lord help me. I'll drag your ass through the muck myself if I have to, you hear me? Fuck off, pig. What's going on here? Howdy, Bill. Doing all right there, Mrs. Harris? Yeah. Mr. Morgan here was just leaving. Mr. Morgan huffs and haws. Yeah, I'm going. The shit ain't over. I'll be seeing you in court, Miss Harris. Whatever, you old fart. Your hand okay? I saw your car out there on the road. Figured I'd come to see if everything's okay. What was old Bill wanting? Wish I knew, Sheriff. Wish I knew. Morgan's grip was surprisingly strong for an old man who and loved to bruise. Sheriff made himself scarce before long. He came asking the same questions. But he had him written down in a notebook this time. Didn't reek of booze. Still, I don't think he suspects me. He seems more focused on Walter's past. Oh. He was an ornery one. That old donkey, I'll say. That old donkey, I'll say. I uh, learned to keep his hands to himself. Got any news on Walter Seraph? Actually, yes. I was talking to New York and found out something, uh, rather strange. Tell me, you ever heard of an Ir Irving Wallace? Nope, doesn't ring any bells. Well, it sounds like Walter and Irving did some time together. Walter did time? No way. That's what I thought. But when? Why? In the early 20s, but I don't know why. There ain't much left from the pre-war archives. Walter obviously used this to his benefit, kept this little vacation secret. This is more, this is more than just a secret. Don't get me wrong, ma'am. Everyone makes mistakes. As far as I can tell, Walter was a, div dig was a dignified man. Wish I could say the same about that Wallace character, though. Who is he? Made a killing during the Prohibition. But his fortune wasn't big enough to attract unnecessary attention. She acts so shocked every time he f every time she finds something new about new out about Walt. Like, girl, why are you still surprised? I know at this point, like, are you really that surprised? Then he got his business illegalized and went into publishing. He even bought a stake in a, in a local local newspaper. Either way, he's bad news. But no charges have been brought against him yet. Strange thing is... Well, my guess is Walter and Irving have stayed in touch to this day. I don't mean to scare you, ma'am, but Wallace might be connected to your husband's disappearance. It's in the box, by the way. It's a parcel from my brother in Oakland. Hmm. Thought it might be from Walter. Anyway, ma'am, I'll keep you informed. Let me know if, any, if anything happens in the meantime. Like what, Sheriff? People like Wallace are extremely dangerous, so I'd like to ask you to stay vigilant till we figure this all out. Do take care now. What have you been up to, Walt? I must admit, Morgan's visit came as something of a surprise. I had no idea what the old man, what that old man wanted with me. Walter was the one who handled the land, not me. Any knowledge I might have had was extremely vague. 
could probably figure it out if I really put my mind to it. But on the other hand, who the hell cares? I'll be long gone the minute I get that check. I'll never have to see this house, this land, or Morgan ever again. I wasn't sure what to do next. Ask about the property boundaries. Shadow of a doubt. Achievement unlocked. So, Mrs. Harris, what can I help you with? Just looking to learn about the extent of my property, where the border between my land and Mr. Morgan's lies. The well doesn't supply to Morgan's land, too. Uh, so, rat poison sure could kill the crops, I bet. No, I don't know, though. Maybe. I think that's what we're about to figure out, though. Alrighty, if you'll kindly take a look right here. This is your property. That's the property that, as I understand, it belongs to the bank. It's all ours? If the paperwork's anything to go by, then yes. Now here's where your property ends and Mr. Morgan's begins. As well as here, 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 and here. I'll need another set of plans get the idea. So Mr. Morgan's rolling in money. Could say that. Don't tell me y'all are at odds about something. Well, Mrs. Harris, you'd be better off giving him what he wants. You know, bargain a little. For decency's sake. But come to an agreement nonetheless. Believe me, it's pointless going to court with people like him. I appreciate the advice. My pleasure. Can I ask one last thing? Is it possible that there may be some drainage under my property that leads to Morgan's? Which in some way, unknown to me, might be affecting his crops? Well, that's hard to tell, Miss Harris. It will depend on the history of the site. What was standing be there before, groundwater lines, previous owners and such. The well! I can try and look it up for you if you like. Records must be in the archives somewhere. So long as it ain't any trouble. Not at all, ma'am. It's my job. Just leave me a telephone number. And I'll get in touch as soon as I find anything. There's two bodies in that well. Walters and... Um, Walters and uh, some, was it the sheriff? Different sheriff? I didn't think it really mattered at first, but at night for some reason, I started to feel like something around me had changed. It was small, almost invisible. I began to wander through some run, that run-down old house, finding my way into corners I didn't even know existed. And then, Kelly arrived. I forgot to mention... Walter had a daughter from his previous marriage, Kelly. As she'd promised in her letter, Kelly came up with her boyfriend, Mickey. Now, I'd only met Kelly a couple of times. First time was when she was still a little girl. She was living with her mama somewhere in New Jersey. But then her mama succumbed to skeletal tubercul tuberculosis. Got no idea where Kelly found that joker, Mickey. It was easy to tell from just a glance that he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. Now Kelly has a f was a fine enough girl, pretty as a peach. She had thick brown hair, big old, eye big old doe eyes, a healthy tan, big hips and a nice behind. Imagine the vulgarity of Mae West in a play by Carl Heinrich Ulrich. Mickey's actually short for Michelangelo. He's some Italian kid from Jersey. At just 23, maybe 24 years old, he was big enough to fill a doorway. And I mean, he was huge. Black hair all shiny with either grease or bri brilliant, brilliantine. Muscles bulging under his copper skin. I had no idea what he did for a living. 
think maybe he served in the Navy before getting kicked out. Either way, didn't seem like things were going well for either of them. Like any young girl whose daddy walks out on the family, I think it's safe to assume Kelly despised her father. So why would a girl abandoned by her daddy drag her boyfriend across the country to see him? <coughs> Folks on the outside looking in just wouldn't understand. But I did. Oh, I knew right from the start. Where's daddy? Since they were too tired from the road, I was able to stall with them stall them with a dumb lie. At that point all they wanted was to bathe and get some sleep. Definitely the well was my first thought too when Morgan was blaming drainage. I didn't even think about it. At, for, at first, at least. So I used the time to get my story straight. Your father abandoned me too, hon. Gathered his belongings to tuck off like the wind. The plan was to appeal to the sympathy of a fellow woman by drawing comparisons to Kelly's mother and squeezing any drop of sentimentality out of her that I could. But I knew it was never going to work. To Kelly, I'll always be the bitch who ruined her parents' marriage. Heck, she probably blames me for her, the mo for her mother's passing, and I can't really fault her for that. put them up in the guest bedroom in the room that Douglas Harris had once used separately from his wife his granddaughter now slept with Mickey now that they were actually sleeping out in the hallway in the stillness of the night I could hear Kelly breathing along with her not so muffled sighs the creaking of old floorboards and iron bed springs that had long forgotten the warmth of human bodies bouncing to the beat of, Mika, of Mickey's bestial momentum. Truth be told, I felt myself bluffing, blushing something awful, until finally it all quieted down, and I tried to get some sleep. What the fuck, lady? Um, hello? Oh, good lord. Walter. Hi, honey. What the fuck? You don't look so good. I don't blame you, given the circumstances. Do you think I'm a monster? Listen. I need the combination for the safe, Walter. Say something. Normally I can't get get you to shut up. I, I mean, I couldn't. I wanted to tell you so much, you know? About what was tormenting me, burning me up on the inside. And now you're finally quiet enough to listen. I don't know what to say. Kelly's here. Her boyfriend's pretty lousy in my opinion. Just some loser, and a dumb one at that. That's just my first impression. We know how deceiving those can be. You forgot. 
Hmm? Look. There. In the basement. What do you mean? Walt? Sleep's been a struggle recently, so I've been taking to reading Walter's books. Don't matter which. They all send me to sleep right away. Ugh! It's raining again. <sighs> Puddle. Looks like the roof's leaking. Fuse. What's it lying in the sink for? Hope it didn't get wet. Lord. What's gotten into you, Loretta? <laughs> hmm. Looks like the clock stopped. Okay. Another fuse. One more. That'll do it. Oh, is there one more that we need to find? It's raining pitchforks. And I'm wearing a night tie. Night on. Night on. Ain't right. The fuck? Apparently, the lever moves the elevator, but it hasn't got any power. What the fuck is going on? Be damned. Bruh. Tropic of Cancer. Henry Miller. Just cold ashes. Evening, madam. Evening. Are you alone? We all are. What's going on in there? Private soiree. Invitation only. May I see yours? Well, Don, looks like I went and left it, left mine in another dress. It's quite all right, Miss. I think someone is expecting you. Expecting me? Who could that be? Why don't you come in and find out? Sounds tempting, but I don't think my dress suits the occasion. Come now, you look gorgeous, if I do, if I may be so bold. A cigarette, miss? It's Mrs., actually. And I quit a few years back. Who am I kidding? That don't matter now. Just so you know, I'm aware that I'm dreaming. Whatever you say. Got a light? Order draws deeply on the cigarette. Forgot how much I enjoyed that. Shouldn't deny themselves... One shouldn't deny themselves pleasure. Don't disagree with you there. It's pretty nice here. Getting a strange feeling like I've been here before. Of course, madam. We only serve those with memberships here. If you don't mind me asking, asking, 
What will you do about the girl and the degenerate? Beg your pardon? Pardon? What has started to be finished. What has started should be finished, Loretta. If you were me, what would you do? I'm afraid I'm not you, madam. Each man is the architect of his own fate. But I am deeply convinced that you know what needs to be done. Of course I do. Is anyone going to pick up the phone? I believe it is for you. Are we going to kill Kelly and Mickey? Hello? What the fuck? What in the... Oh. This can't be happening. What the fuck? Obituary. Vivian O'Hara has was an ornithologist who dedicated her life to the study of beautiful creatures. Turning from an ex expedition to the island of Mauritius, Ms. O'Hara tragically died in a car accident at the age of 40. Science community grieves and expresses their condolences to the relatives of the deceased. Scientists recognize that not only Mrs. O'Hara's uh, deep contribution to the development of ornithology, but appreciate her work as an experienced and talented educator and a wonderful writer. Mrs. O'Hara has written over 150 articles, books, monographs, and other publications. The funeral service is scheduled to take place. Recognize this tune. I've heard it somewhere before. What the fuck is outside? Well, that switch doesn't work. Oh, this is so unsettling. Oh, what the fuck? Shh, it's all right. Calm down. There you go. Ah, uh, I don't like this. What are we doing? Oh. Ah! Oh! Our memory is selective. We only remember what we want to. The next morning, I remember grinding meat, and Walter, who'd never lift a finger, would do anything to help me around the house. Mr. Lazy himself, by some de divine coincidence, had sharpened the kitchen knife. Or, uh, something. I skipped it. Kelly yawns. Good morning, Lo. I think you mean good afternoon. Oh, come on, Ma. Rough night. Why the long face? Oh, Mickey and me had a fight is all. What smells so good? I'm making some mince meat. Gonna fix us up some some dumplings. Oh, that'll hit the spot. Daddy always raves about your cooking. Mm-hmm. Can I help with anything? Nah, I'm almost done. Fair enough. I'd just make a mess of it anyway. Got any coffee? God, I'd die for a good cup of joe. Funny you should say that. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> we ran out. 
Well, that's a shame. Where's Mick? Oh, he's out in the backyard trying to fix our car. Ah, so he is. Must be sweating up a stone, the poor th storm, the poor thing. But don't worry about him. He knows his way around a car. Regular grease monkey. Got no idea how much I hate that car. That's weird. What's weird? Daddy left the car behind. How did he get out of here in the first place? Loretta, where did he go? I don't know, girl. What do you mean you don't know? Does he do this often? Disappear, I mean? Ugh. Did you hear... No, your father's been seeing another woman? No, I didn't. Though, can't say I'm surprised, neither. Don't forget he left his first family, too. And he had a child. He had me. Meat squeaks and squelches in the grinder. Anyway. Listen, Lo. I have meaning to ask. You used to work as a hairdresser, right? Hmm. Don't suppose you could cut mine? That's what you want. Sure thing, Tally. I'll give you a good cut. So what was it you want to discuss with your father? Hello. I don't know. It's a family matter. With family. Well, to some extent. Does that mean you're getting hitched? Yes. Well, I don't know. That's something else I want to discuss with Daddy. What does Mickey do for a living? You know, Mickey isn't much of a working man. Road's what he's after. Doesn't do well with enclosed spaces. Like he can't sit still or something. So he's unemployed. Oh, no. Well, yeah. But he wants to be a racer. A bike racer, specifically. And what do you want? Me? I just want everything to go right for a change. These past few years have been tough, you know? Looking after my mother was hard, and now... Now I'm gonna have a baby. And I felt sick. Sick from the thoughts that had been spinning in my head this, all this time. And all the things I'd done came close to doing. Kelly's gonna have a baby. Ignoring the fact that she and Mickey are basically children themselves. They have their whole lives ahead of them. But for me, my dad was cast the moment I stopped at that goddamn gas station. Y'all are even considering that if I were able to sell that the novel to Shaper and leave town, maybe Kelly and Mickey could move in here. Maybe they'd be able to find a happiness here that Walter and I never could. You were right. We're almost done. And not even 15 minutes have gone by. How nice. I love it. Well, hands always remember what they've done. Were you expecting anybody? I wasn't. Maybe it's Daddy? Wait a minute. too late. I ain't gonna do that now. Not a chance. Oh, we're not gonna kill Kelly. Good afternoon. Um, afternoon. What's going on? Milk delivery, ma'am. This me must be some mistake. No, that's impossible. We don't get milk delivered here. You disappointed us, Loretta. Excuse me? You had such a promising start, only to let yourself balk to petty cowardice right at the finish line. I don't understand. Oh, but you do understand. What the fuck is happening? You've done so much work, told so many lies. All for what? I ain't a murderer. 
I think Walter might have a thing or two to say about that. All right, Lo. Time is running out, so listen carefully. Margaret will be here soon. Get rid of her. Pull yourself together, Loretta. This is your last chance, got it? Make sure Margaret forgets how to get here. For good. Otherwise, the consequences will be irreversible. But I don't know the combination. Yes, you do. Think! When did it all start for Walter? An end for you. Remember what happened in New York. Well, ma'am, looks like I got the wrong address. Sorry about that. I hope you have a great day. What the fuck? Hey, Laura, who was it? Loretta? Are you okay? Mrs. Harris? Yeah, yes, I'm fine. Just a little... A little dizzy. Laura! Alright, and I think that's another place to take a good, uh, another short break. So, uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube at a later date, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you know when the next episode drops. Uh, or you can watch this live over at twitch.tv slash big slice gaming and hang out with the rest of chat. Um, if you want to join the discord, there's a link to it down in the description down below. Um, if you're watching live, you can use the command, uh, exclamation point discord, and that'll also bring up the link, um, once again, if you're watching this over on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching, and, and we'll see you in the next part.